This video contains information on an infection which spread through bites, scratches, or any contact with animal saliva. Before moving to further information, if you learn something or if you find information provided in this video as helpful, please motivate us by subscribing, liking and sharing this video. What is Capnocytophaga? It is a group of gram-negative bacteria. They are normally found in the oropharyngeal tract of mammals. They are involved in the pathogenesis of some periodontal diseases and infected wounds which can rarely complicated by septicemia with serious or fatal outcome. How Capnocytophaga is transmitted? Capnocytophaga germs are commonly found normally in the mouths of healthy dogs and cats and as such never cause illness in themselves. These bacteria usually transmitted to man through bites, scratches, or when saliva comes in contact with an open wound, anywhere the skin is broken, or a mucous membrane like eyes, nose, or mouth. These bacteria are also normal habitant of men's oropharyngeal tract and rarely cause infection in oropharyngeal tract in men. Risk Factors of Capnocytophaga Anybody who come in contact with animal saliva can become infected with Capnocytophaga bacteria, but conditions which leads to immunocompromised state are usually associated with increased risk of these infection. These conditions are Alcohol use, liver diseases, in patients without spleen, use of medicines which causes immunocompromised states such as chemotherapy and biologics diseases which can cause immunosuppression such as HIV and cancers, diabetes, and pregnancy. Signs and Symptoms of Capnocytophaga Infection Capnocytophaga bacteria are involved in different types of infections. Infections manifest in both immunocompromised and immunocompatent patients, but the severity of infection depends on immune status of the patient. Infections in men's own oropharyngeal tract can manifest as periodontal or gum diseases, and respiratory tract infections, including infections of the mouth, nose, throat, and lungs. And, infections which are transmitted from animals usually occurs within 1 to 14 days after coming in contact with animal saliva, this infection can cause wide variety of symptoms, such as Blisters around the bite wound within hours of the bite, redness, swelling, draining pus, or pain at the bite wound and flu-like symptoms such as fever, diarrhea and or stomach pain, vomiting, headache, confusion and muscle or joint pain. Infection of both origin, can travel into blood and subsequently cause more severe infections such as bacteremia, potentially complicated by septic shock infections of the musculoskeletal system, such as osteomyelitis and arthritis, infections of lung, such as empyema and lung abscess, infections of digestive system, such as peritonitis, maternal fetal infections, such as ovarian abscess and chorioamnionitis, eye infection, such as conjunctivitis, infection in heart, such as endocarditis, or infection in brain, such as meningitis. More severe form of infections known to cause sepsis, potentially complicated by thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura, hemolytic uremic syndrome, heart attack, kidney failure, and gangrene. Diagnosis Diagnosis usually based on clinical presentation, patient usually presents with a recent animal bite, and laboratory tests such as bacterial culture of blood, blood smears, and new diagnostic tools like 16 srna detection by PCR. Treatment Suspected capnocytophaga infection usually are treated with beta-lactam antibiotics. In case of spread of resistance to beta-lactam antibiotics, other intravenous treatment including doxycycline, clindamycin, meropenem, and cefuroxime can be used. In addition to antibiotics use, Proper wound care, tetanus immunization, and post-exposure prophylaxis for rabies should also be addressed. Thank you for watching this video. If you still not subscribed my channel, please subscribe for more such videos. If you have any comments or questions, please write in comments section. 
please share this video with your friends and do not forget 